So you may have seen this other video that I recorded where sound alerts were going off in the background and it allowed BetAngel to tell me what it was doing when it was doing some automation. And that allowed me to trade many markets simultaneously and obviously if you do that you're going to stand more chance of making more money which is a little trick that I pull. If you want to learn out how to do that then watch the rest of this video. If you want instant access to new videos as they're uploaded then please click on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to comment on the videos. And if you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial. So yeah, when you play sound alerts, the way that you would get BetAngel to play a sound alert is to use the Guardian automation. So if we go up to Guardian here and click on Guardian, it will bring up a list of markets that we're active on at the moment. Select any one of those markets, then go to the Automation tab and create a new rules file for that selected market. If I just drag this across here, what we need to do is first of all we need to uh, create a rule of some sort and obviously the one we're going to create is to be a sound alert. So to act as a prompt I'm going to type in a title for it and the title I will put in is play this sound when this happens. And the rule type that we want is really simple. It's play sound alert. We need to figure out when this rule is going to trigger. So I'm going to say to it um, three hours before the event starts to three hours after it's um, in play, this rule can trigger. So it's going to have a six hour window where it will look at the market and it will say, are these conditions met? Yes, they are. I'll go, I'm going to play this sound alert. Then we need to decide what we're going to select it to. There are several ways of doing this. It's up to you how you want to do this. You can watch some of the videos elsewhere if you want to know each of the individual detail. But what I'm going to do is select by nominated selection. So basically when I nominate a selection in Guardian over here, it will start monitoring that selection three hours before and three hours afterwards. Then if we go to parameters, we need to select a sound file. Now what I've done is I've pre-recorded loads of sound files that tell me different things. And um, if I click on Browse, I can look at all of those sound files and then decide which one I want to use for this particular uh, alert. So I'm going to use um, Whistle. So if I double click on that, you can see here it is going to play that particular sound file uh, when this condition uh, is met. Now at this point, let's have a look at some of the other uh, audio files that have gone in here because this will give you an indication as to some of the things that I do. So I've got numbers in here, so this will say you have made £10, you have made £30, or you have lost £3 or whatever. Air Raid, if there's something going seriously wrong, it will play an Air Raid siren to me, and then I can switch to that market, or Bet Angel will switch to it for me, and I can figure out what's going on. Uh, a flushing toilet, uh, you can guess what that sound is for. And then you can see I've got more, I've got a ka as well, for when I do really well. But you can see I've got, you know, made money, lost money, more than, higher than, less than, new high, new low, um, over, over broke back, lay. Um, I've also got retro arcade sounds because sometimes hearing your own voice repeatedly is going to wind you up like nobody's business. So sometimes it's better just to have music or sounds uh, that you're familiar with or that you would recognize. But you can also see here, um, I can actually get it to indicate to me that in a tennis match or, you know, I could be monitoring 20 or 30 tennis matches and it will say uh, that somebody's a breakup, a breakdown, or the game has started or it's reached a key score. Um, so you can use sound alerts in any number of ways. These are just some examples that I wanted to give you. But on this occasion we're just going to use a whistle. So we've basically said over a six hour period here, three hours before the start, three hours after the event start time, play this sound file which we've selected from within our little library of sounds from here. Incidentally, I'm using Dropbox so that I can use these anywhere and update the library from whichever machine I'm on, whether it's a VPS or local. So there's a little tip for you. Uh, yeah, so do this um, with this sound file, and then we come to the important part, which are the conditions. So we've said this is the window of opportunity, the time in which you're going to play the sound alert. This is the sound alert I want you to play, and here's when to play it. So let's create a sound alert when we use it specifically in this market. And we're going to do a really simple one. We're just going to say, if I've made a loss, 
uh, then whistle. Tell me that I've made a loss. And what we're going to do is go to Guardian. Uh, we're going to create a new rules file. We have to select a market somewhere in order to be able to do that. So we select a market, create a new rules file, and let's get this rule underway. First thing we're going to do is um, call this rule something. We're going to say play a sound when this happens. The rule type will be play a sound alert. And we're going to say uh, do this for 10 minutes before the start of an event up until post time. And it applies to selection by nomination, Guardian nominated selection 1. So we would select it from the drop down menu over here, which we'll do in a minute. The sound file that we're going to use, we're going to select through parameters. So if I browse for a sound file, I will select the whistle. And I'm going to apply a really simple condition to it. I'm just going to say to it, um, if I'm in a loss-making position, then whistle at me. So if I go down here to a green all profit condition, the green all profit value across all selections is less than zero. In other words, I haven't made any money, I'm losing money. And it is simple as that. We have now played this rule when this happens from 10 minutes out to zero, play a sound alert. Um, in fact, let me. there's one thing I could adjust in here. If we go back to general, at the moment I've got it playing one time and waiting five seconds. Maybe you don't hear that the first time that it goes. So if I do it 100 times every five seconds, you're sure as hell going to hear that. <laughs> it's going to annoy the hell out of you. You will know that you have made a loss. So yeah, we're going to do it for 100 times and wait um, five seconds before it whistles again. And it's going to apply uh, based upon us being in a loss-making position. So what I need to do is save that. And we will call this uh, rule whistle, oops, whistle while you work. And what I can do is um, apply that. And that rule will now be available for us um, up here in the drop-down menu. You can see we've got a number of different rules available up here. But we need to apply it to a market. So the next race that's coming up uh, in a second the, is the Fontwell 1550. So what I'm going to do is trade the favourite. So these are all of the selections within that market. It could be a football match, tennis match, rugby match, whatever you want to do. I'm going to trade the favourite in this market and I'm going to apply the rule. Sorry, it's just switched market there. I'm going to apply the rule whistle while you work. So what will happen is that rule will apply and when we make a loss on Chris P. Green, it will whistle to let us know. Now at the moment in the market, um, there's no activity in here at all. So, so you know, we can start to take a position at the moment. And in fact, we're 10 minutes away. So let's return a little bit closer to when this race is about to start and we'll invoke this rule. So we're a little bit closer to the start of this race. There's a little bit of activity in this market. Um, if I go in here and we, we open a position, then you should be able to see me immediately that uh, because we're at a slight loss here, you can hear the whistling going on in the background. And now that we've moved into profit, you can see that there's no whistling. So if this drops down, and there we go. Can you see at the moment our hedged profit is plus or minus a little bit, but it's whistling every time we start to go into loss. If we go to the one click screen, can you see here how the whistling is coinciding with when the position is at a loss. If it ticks up one, one little bit more, we just need somebody to take 20 quid or so at 4.1, the whistling will stop. You can see there's a little bit more money has come in at 4.1 here. But can you see how this would be used? Basically, if a position is in trouble, it's asking for your attention and you can go in and intervene. What you may want to do on this rule as well is if you think about it, um, we've got bets in on one side of the market but not the other. So you could actually say to it, if I have an open trading position, in other words, if I haven't opened and closed a position and it's at a loss, then whistle. Because at the moment this is going to keep on whistling even if you have closed that position. So you want to consider um, how you want to use this uh, functionality. But basically there are an infinite number of ways in which you can actually invoke a sound alert and get it to inform you about what's going on in the market. 
Do you have an open position? Have you closed your position? Is it at a loss? Is it at a profit? Is it at a big loss? Is it at a, a big profit? Or so on and so forth. But there are an infinite number of ways of using sound alerts, and I suggest you use them because it will just give you another perspective on the market. It will add another dimension to your trading. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, visit BetAngel.com and download a free trial today.